Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. And this is going to be a bonus reading, Sagittarius. It is a love reading and it is going to be for, for the most views. That's what it's going to be for, alright? So let's get right into this. And we're going to do a past, present, and future video. I usually uh, do a different type of video, but today we'll do something different. And Sagittarius, there could be regret going on for you. It's a possibility. Don't get discouraged because I really feel like uh, 2020 is going to be a really good year for most Sagittarians. Yeah. Let's see what else we have here. This could be sadness or regret. This doesn't have to be you. This could be somebody you're dealing with, right? Because we know that, uh, you know, these are our people, their energy can show up, right? Three of Swords. Wow. So right now, here you are, Sagittarius, the King of Wands, right? I feel like right now, this uh, this is the after tarot here, and this is not the Three of Swords, I beg your pardon, it is the Ace of Cups. I saw the heart right there. And this is, you know, this is love coming, like a brand new beginning, I feel like, is could be in store for you. There could be some regret involved. Maybe somebody has to leave a situation to be with you. Maybe you have to leave a situation to be with somebody. But these are totally conflicting cards. This is why I'm talking about a possible ending with somebody and a new beginning with somebody else. King of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Tower. Somebody's trying to find uh, clarity here. It could be involving a Piscean, maybe. This is somebody from your past, Sagittarius. Yes, it is. And... They could be trying to figure out if they really want to work it out with you and if they want to re reconcile here. Yeah, and I'm going to leave it right here. I'll put these cards right up here. Uh, you guys can see them if you would like. Yes, you can. I know a lot of people like to look at the cards. Yes, they do. <laughs> and let's pull some cards right now uh, from Lenormand. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. The moon. This is passion. And it can be seduction. Somebody from the past, I feel like, or there's a timeline. Somebody's trying to, like, reach here because of the clock. This is about somebody you could have history with, somebody you've shared time with, etc. The coffin, wow. So this is interesting because we saw the Ace of Cups, and now we're seeing the coffin. Somebody's thinking of ending something. You could be thinking of ending a relationship with somebody. Yeah, maybe to have a new beginning or vice versa, okay? This is really interesting. The Ace of Swords, they have the... <coughs> well, I'm not. This is not even an owl. I'm not, I can't really tell what type of a bird this is. Um, because usually the owls can stand for clarity or wisdom, right? Like the ability to gain clarity. Uh, this is not an owl. I'm not really sure what type of a bird it is. For all you zoologists out there, yes. <laughs> Maybe you can make a comment. And... Yeah, let's keep going here. The house, this is about a union. And the compass here, somebody's trying to find the path. I feel like to you, they could be. You could be trying to look for the path yourself. Sometimes this, when the compass shows up in the Lenormand, the, the outer line cards can be like indicative of the path be, because we know that the compass is about a path, right? It is about finding a path. Mm-hmm, and we have the man, somebody's trying to find their path here in a relationship. They're trying to find the way, and the way is, I feel like for me, is going to include an ending for somebody, right, with this coffin. Yeah, it is. And we saw that with the Five of Cups and the Tower and the Ace of Cups, because they are all, those are like, those are uh, conflicting cards. Let me put these cards up here. Mm-hmm. Move these over here, and let's get right into the reading, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, and pull some of these Fin de Cicle cards. Yes, I am. In the past, King of Pentacles, Sagittarius, you're dealing with a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This is not you, right? Very doubtful. And this is the Three of Swords. <laughs> And it, yeah, it looks a little bit like the Ace of Cups because this is the after tarot. So with the Ace of Cups, we see the heart and we don't see that in the regular tarot, right? So this is why these kind of look the same. I thought I was pulling the Three of Swords. It is here now. Okay, this is the past. Wow. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, let's get a card. Let's see here. Let's let's look at the current energy, the Hierophant, the Nine of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Somebody's trying to discern a situation. Yeah, they are. They're trying to discern a relationship, maybe about what to do about it in the future. Let's see here. Temperance, the Chariot, the Five of Cup, Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. Wow. So let's see. I feel like what's going on right now. In the past, though, somebody uh, was trying to figure out maybe if they wanted to be single. They could have became single. This King of Pentacles. Let's get a card on the Six of Pentacles. Wow, this is interesting. Usually don't do these readings this way. Page of Wands. Seven of Wands. Somebody could have felt super overwhelmed. They could have been fighting over a decision, maybe. For somebody to like take a new path and become single. Because we saw an ending and a new beginning over here with these cards, right? With these cards. Uh, yeah, the Ace of Cups is a new beginning and the Tower is an ending. So we already saw uh, an ending and a new beginning, right? With the cards that are, you know, that were at the bottom of the deck. Mm hmm. Trying to straighten these out. I don't think they have to be that straight. But. I feel like in the past somebody was trying to figure it out. They were really overwhelmed. Why is the Five of Wands there? Seven of Wands, sorry guys. Why is that seven? This Seven of Wands looks like the Five of Wands in the traditional tarot. Somebody was worried in the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like about making a decision for change. Yeah, Page of Wands, a new direction to become single. The Queen of Wands. And I feel like uh, Sagittarius, this could have been you, but I feel like you could have been worried if somebody was going to make a decision to come towards you. Mm -hmm. And it, it, this decision involves becoming single. Yes, it does. Wow. So they're married, most likely. And mm -hmm. the Knight of Swords, let's get a, a clarifier on that Knight of Swords. Why is that there? This is a past energy. The Hermit. Virgo, and it is a Virgo most likely because the King of Pentacles is right here. Page of Cups in the reverse. Wow, I feel like it flew out in the upright, but we can... It's okay if it's sitting there and just kind of set it down. I feel like in the past they were unsure. Mm -hmm. They were not open to love. That could be the case in the past. And they could have been maybe trying to decide if they wanted to uh, come towards you or maybe stay with somebody. Maybe somebody who is a hangman, right, or a Piscean, right? It's a possibility here because um, I feel like these cards speak volumes over here from the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I do. And they were trying to gain clarity with the Ace of Swords. Yes, they were. Mm -hmm. And let's get a card on that Three of Swords. Why is that Three of Swords there? This is in the past, the moon, eight of cups. Somebody was confused if they were going to leave a situation, and this is involving a third party. The current dynamic is the Hierophant. Why is that there? Eight of pentacles. This is the after tarot, guys. So whatever you are seeing here in the reading could really be happening, right? It could, like, it could be happening. This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be indicative of one minute later. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it says. One minute later. I feel like it does say that. Let's see. One moment after. Same thing, right? <laughs> yeah, there's the box right there. And let's see. Now, the current energy is somebody... Let's see. There's a marriage here or there's a relationship. Why is that eight of... Somebody's trying to discern it here. This is how this is reading, right? I don't really need to keep kind of uh, clarifying these cards. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody is trying to discern a matter, Queen of Swords. If they should put the work into a situation, they're the wounded warrior, right? This is third party. This is some type of a third party. This, They're the wounded warrior here. They've already gone through a battle, and they could be exhausted and possibly worried about what's going to happen next. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he has a friend over here helping him out in this, in this, uh, on this Nine of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, let me help you with all your pain and your worry and your exhaustion. Yeah, I got your back. There's somebody here. Wow. That could be saying that this person who is maybe trying to make a decision to come towards you, they have to leave a situation, Sagittarius. Uh, this could be saying that, you know, 
there's two people here. Maybe maybe you maybe you're really on their side. There could be two people here though who are both in this energy. Yes, nine of wands. That's what that is. Wow. Two people are kind of worried about what's going to happen next. And we have the five of wands. This can be competition. In this card, these people are not fighting. They have kind of like they're just kind of looking around each other. I feel like they're trying to figure out like who's the most competition. Yes. And that's what's going on in this reading. This is a brand new deck, you guys. So this is like the second time I've used it. Mm -hmm. So somebody is like just trying to figure out who their competition is. I feel like what they're trying to do here, because this is change. Usually the fives are all about change. They can be about crises, sometimes conflict, but they're always about big change. Yeah, they are. And this person could be, this is interesting here, they could be just trying to figure out who their competition is. Like really, yeah, and, and maybe really how to win the game here. Because in the, reg, in the traditional Five of Wands, these people are, you know, they're usually fighting, right? But these people have taken a pause to try to like, you know, step back and figure it out. They could be really like pausing, like in a way. I feel like they are. Wow. This person here who I feel like is trying to make a decision. Mm -hmm. And they could be thinking of laying down the competition, right? Like coming towards you and letting the other person go. Like laying down the competition. Remember, all these people are sitting down except the one person. Wow. There's like, for me, there is one victor here. It's a possibility. And over here, Sagittarius, in the near future, let's look at the near future because I feel like that is uh, the most important, yeah. And Temperance is there. The Chariot card, maybe they are dealing with a Cancerian. They could, somebody could be taking action to leave somebody else out, right? Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to be heartbroken here. I don't think it is you, Sagittarius. No, I don't. Let's look at the Kipper cards, the Fiend de C. Clay for... Some more clarity. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius in love. Unexpected income. Okay, this doesn't have to be love, although it could be self-love. Maybe if you're working at something that is bringing you a lot of income and you like it and you're doing well, uh, that could be helping you with self-love. <laughs> yeah, this person could be coming into money because this is a love reading, right? The message card. The child, oh, there's a child here that is being, okay. So they could be leaving a situation where they have a child. Okay, that's a little bit sad. You could have a child too. High honor. I feel like this person is, uh, like, they could have really, like, place you on a pedestal. It's a possibility. Distant horizons. Distant horizons can talk about things in the, like, Things that are far away, but I feel like it is talking about things could be happening for you with this person maybe in the distant horizon community. This is about family. Mm -hmm. Maybe this person, you know, this is this person here is dealing with a family dynamic. You could be. Somebody is with the child showing up. Mm -hmm. They could feel close to you, though, maybe, like family. Community could talk about feeling close. I feel like they're dealing with a family here. Wow. False person. Wow. You're dealing with somebody here. They might have to be the false person with this other person to leave you. Yeah. Right? Because that's what's happening here. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The official person. They could be a they could be a cop or a policeman. This official person could be anybody. Somebody in the public eye. It doesn't have to be this man who's in the military with all these uh, ribbons or, you know, awards. It doesn't have to be that. Bad health. Somebody's in a relationship right now that is toxic. Wow. Maybe they have somebody who is official. Maybe you are an official person, Sagittarius, right? You could be. Sagittarius are, uh, yeah, we're built for that stuff. <laughs> Let's see what we have in the near future for Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. The other person could be an official. They could be dealing with somebody who is maybe official. Why is that temperance card there? Why is that there, please? This is in the near future. Mm-hmm.
Why is the chariot card there? Why is that chariot card there, please? This is just you, Sagittarius. I don't, I don't see, see the need to clarify that. The Empress card. I feel like you are a third party, Sagittarius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands. This is a real burden here. Mm -hmm. Wow. This person could be dropping that burden, though, let me tell you, because in this in this card or this deck, the, ten, the nine wands are on the ground. That can indicate a new beginning with one wand here. Yeah, wow. This is in the future. I feel like they're dropping a burden and they're going to have victory with you. I feel like that's what that is. Yeah, you are this empress. You are this third party passionate, uh, yeah, passionado, right? Here's the moon in the Lenormand. This is passion. Yes, passion and romance. Why is that ten of wands there? Three of wands. And the three of wands, this is talking about you guys are going to manifest this. That's what it is. They could be turning their back here. Because the threes, I mean, they can talk usually about manifestation, kind of working. It can talk about groups and like working together. And it can the three of wands can talk about forward movement and manifesting something. It can. Mm -hmm. This is in the near future. And this man is letting this bird go. Like he's letting him fly. Like I'm going to do this. I'm free. I'm going to go manifest this. Wow. I feel like that's what this is here. I feel like your person is going to drop a burden here. And come toward and work it, work things out with you. And move forward with you. Wow. And, yeah. And why is the six of pentacles there? Why is that there? Yeah, they're leaving somebody out. Mm -hmm, they are. Seven of cups. They could be maybe confused about it in the near future. It's going to depend. Wow. To me, it looks like they are coming toward to do it. I feel like your person wants to do this. Yeah, and this is the after tarot. Wow. I feel like they want to do it. Uh, they don't have to be confused here with the Seven of Cups. They could be making a really hard choice to become happy. Why is that Sun card there? I feel like that's what that is. Why is it there? Knight of Pentacles, here they are. The Virgo or Taurus or Capricorn. In this reading, it is a Virgo. Bless their hearts, the Virgos. <laughs> you kind of workaholic people. Mm -hmm. They are perfectionists, yeah. They like everything to be done right. Mm -hmm. No uh, sidestepping or cutting corners. No, they're quality workers. Yeah, they are. Let's see what we have here. Wow. So in this reading, this could be the battle of the wits, maybe their own wits, right? Kind of logic going back and forth. But in this in this deck, rather, not reading, the two of swords, this lady can see. She has pulled up her blindfold a little bit. Yeah, wow. This is interesting because usually with the two of swords in the traditional deck, nobody knows what to do. The person feels blocked and they don't know what to do. They're stuck. I feel like this is going to be saying this person is not so stuck anymore. Yes, because she's not holding the swords either. These other two men are holding the swords. Wow. I feel like they're making a really hard choice. Yes, and I feel like whoever you're dealing with is coming to that conclusion that they, I feel like they want to be free. Yeah, with the uh, bird here. I feel like they want to be free, and I feel like they're going to make the decision to come towards you. I'm uh, pulling for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching, all right? Yeah, this was your bonus reading because uh, you guys got the most hits. Thank you so much. And there is no extended. Thanks so much, guys.